Richie, we've just been riding out together. That was good fun. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> um, you've built up now pretty much an unassailable lead in the championship. Have you allowed yourself to believe you're going to be crowned champion jockey now? I suppose it's starting to set in that, um, that everything I work towards through the year is going to be worthwhile. But uh, the champion jockey thing, I um, don't think I'll ever believe that. Uh, um, you know, Although I want it really badly, I can't say I expected it to happen. And particularly when I went so far behind... Um, but I've been really lucky to get so much support and obviously we're standing here in the sunshine this morning. Um, life seems great. Did you expect to maybe be even going for the championship at such an early stage in your career? Oh yeah, I tried last year. Okay. Just um, Sylvester was like very way in front from a very early point. Yeah. And obviously I had a lot more suspensions last year. Like I might have missed 20 days maybe in the season. Right. Whereas this year I've had zero. So that's obviously been a big help. And was there a point this season where it started to look like it was achievable? Yeah, possibly. I suppose going into Goodwood or just after Goodwood, um, I put my nose in front and I think the most I've ever been in front is about 40 or 41. and might only be 35 or 6 in front today, but, um, but there's only, you know, there's a week and a bit left now. Um, so, yeah. It's good. Morning. Morning, pal. Hello. Morning, Morning buddy. Hi, boys. Danny Todhope has been your closest pursuer. Has he been good competition? Absolutely. I suppose he's a very, very good rider. I admire the way he manages his weight and his hunger. He, you know, he's taken lots of rides this year and uh, he's ridden at a very high level. So, full, full max him. I haven't ridden much up north this year. Um, Last year I was leading rider at York and York's been good to me this year as well but I just haven't been there a lot. Yeah. And uh, and I haven't done, I did one ripping. I don't know if I've been to Pontefract at all. I had to go to Air once. I didn't go to Musselburgh or Hamilton all year. Okay. That's, um, that's been a big help because, uh, you know, I could stay local and although it's probably, it's more competitive to ride winners for sure like when Ryan Moore, Frankie Troy, James Doyle, Andrea, Spencer, we're all at Kirby, we're all at the same meetings. Yeah. But I have the trainers to support me at those meetings, whereas if I went up north, I don't have the same network, you know what I mean? Sure. And, and what is it that sort of makes going for a championship different from a normal season? The work ethic, you, um, you've got to go to Wolverhampton on the Saturday nights and um, evening meetings. Yeah, it's relentless. I didn't um, get suspended through the year, fortunately. I've uh, been injury free and you know, that's enabled me to ride as many as I could. And then it's down to the people who've been giving me the chances, the trainers and owners that I've been so lucky to ride for. Uh, without them, it's not possible. And presumably your agent has a lot to do with it as well. Yeah, so he manages everything uh, for me, flights, travel, um, Obviously, all the horses I ride, and we're in constant communication. We could speak five or six times a day. So, you know, he's going to be a tired chap uh, come October 19th. You hardly picked it up even when you came up beside me there. <laughs> uh, he's a professional. Good boy. We'll just let him go a little bit faster along. Yeah. What about yourself, sort of your riding this year? Has it been any different going for the championship? Perhaps it has. Uh, I've been, I've, you know, set my stall at now to get, not to get suspended. I haven't had a suspension this season because obviously I know uh, going one over with the whip or um, letting my horse drift under pressure might win me the race, but a, a two day suspension could cost me four or five winners, you know, and that's the way you have to look at it. Although it's um, it's difficult to um, kind of maintain that frame of mind, it is vital. And would you say riding has always been something that's been fairly instinctive to you? No, but you de you develop instinct. Okay. I suppose I rode a lot as a child, obviously. So I I think I can. <laughs> I can. I make an effort to get on with the horse, yeah. uh, but I think tactically in a race, 
that you're always trying to improve that okay. in that sense too. And, and looking forward to Champions Day itself, obviously it's a, it's a day that's sponsored by Kipco and you obviously have a fantastic relationship with Sheikh Farhad and Qatar Racing uh, and presumably your family will be over as well. Yeah, it's super exciting. It'll be lovely for all my friends and family that the fact they'll be there and uh, Kipco sponsor um, lots of big races now in Britain, the whole of the Champions Series and their official partners of Ascot. Kipco British Champions Day is... Sheikh Fadden is his brother's brainchild and we're very lucky to have such generous sponsorship going into flat racing. Uh, I wouldn't like to think what it would be like without them. Super, Sheen, thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you on the 19th. Thanks very much, Sam. Good man.